here are five artificial intelligence stocks that I think are going to surge in their share prices while Wall Street analysts think they are going to crash. Machine learning gives software and systems the ability to learn and evolve without human intervention, which can make these systems more proficient at their tasks over time as they progress. The usefulness of AI cannot be overstated enough. Almost every sector and industry can benefit from its utilization, which is probably why the analysts at PricewaterhouseCoopers believe artificial intelligence will add $15.7 trillion to the global economy in the year 2030. While most institutional money managers and Wall Street analysts view AI and the companies deploying AI infrastructure and software favorably, this bullishness is not universal. Based on the low water price targets issued by a select group of Wall Street analysts, the following five AI stocks could plunge by as much as over 86%. The first artificial intelligence stock that could collapse after an immense increase is the infrastructure foundation of the AI revolution itself, which is none other than NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. In the second month of this year, analyst Gil Luria from DA Davidson raised his personal price target as well as his firm's target on NVIDIA to $620 up from $410. Despite this epic boost, it implies that the third largest publicly traded company in the United States by market capitalization will shed nearly 30% of its value based on where its stock price closed on April 5th. Although NVIDIA's A100 and H100 graphics processing units have been the overwhelming top selection by businesses for data centers accelerated by AI, there are numerous reasons to believe NVIDIA's stock could be in an overinflated bubble. To begin with, NVIDIA's top four clients, accounting for roughly 40% of its sales revenue, are all in the process of developing their own AI GPUs. Even if these companies continue to utilize NVIDIA's GPUs as complements to their in-house GPUs, future orders from these industry titans would be anticipated to decline over time. Adding to the above point, NVIDIA's power over pricing for its A100 and H100 GPUs are expected to take a hit in the latter half of the year, 2024. The lion's share of its 217% year-over-year increase in data center sales in the fiscal year 2024, which concluded on January 28, 2024, was propelled by a scarcity of GPU supply. As new competitors enter the market and NVIDIA escalates its own production capabilities, the scarcity of GPUs will diminish as well as the company's power over pricing. Furthermore, every major emerging trend over the past three decades has navigated through an early stage bubble phase. Suffice it to say, I fully expect analyst Luria's elevated price target to ultimately be achieved. The second artificial intelligence stock that could plummet in the not too distant future if the prediction of one Wall Street analyst proves accurate is the server and storage solutions company with the ticker symbol SMCI. The senior equity research analyst Mehdi Hosseini from Susquehanna investment banking firm maintained his firm's price target of $250 for Supermicro just two months ago during a CNBC interview. This target implies that Supermicro computer stock could lose nearly three quarters of its current market value. It is understandable why investors have become extremely enthusiastic about Supermicro. The company incorporates NVIDIA's top tier GPUs into its energy efficient and highly customizable rack server systems that are employed in AI accelerated data centers. Sales revenue for the company is forecasted to double in the year 2024 to over $14 billion. However, we have witnessed a similar situation before with Supermicro. The company was expected to be a prime beneficiary of the cloud computing revolution in the late 2010 decade, but it ultimately failed to sustain its sales momentum during that period. This fact underscores that investors tend to severely overestimate the adoption rates of new technological trends and innovations. Additionally, Super Microcomputer finds itself at the mercy of NVIDIA's fortunes. If NVIDIA continues grappling with supply shortages or scarcity for its GPU products, Super Micro will be unable to realize its full potential. While a share price retracement down to the $250 level may not materialize anytime soon, Super Microcomputer certainly has much to prove after its stock skyrocketed by a staggering 767% over the trailing one-year period. The third stock 
stock on our list is Tesla. The potential disaster of the day among artificial intelligence stocks is the leading electric vehicle manufacturer in North America with the ticker symbol TSLA. The CEO and founder Gordon Johnson of GLJ Research believes Tesla's stock will retrace downwards to $23.53 per share, representing an 86% decline from its closing price on April the 5th. On one side of the perspective, Tesla has etched its name in history by becoming the first automotive company established from the ground up to achieve mass production levels in well over half a century. It is also the only pure play electric vehicle company that is generating consistent profitability, having done so for four consecutive years as of the conclusion of 2023. At the same time, Tesla is confronting game-changing challenges as demand for electric vehicles begins to wane. The company slashed pricing on its four production vehicle models on more than a half a dozen occasions throughout 2023. The end result has been more than a halving of Tesla's operating profit margin since the end of September 2022, plummeting from 17.2% down to 8.2% as of December 31st, 2023. Perhaps an even greater issue is that Tesla has failed to evolve into more than just an automotive company. Its energy generation and storage business segments sales have stagnated in recent quarters, while its services division is generating only a low single-digit gross profit margin. I'll add that Tesla's solar endeavors have been an unprofitable money loser since the acquisition of SolarCity in 2016. Despite being nothing more than a car manufacturer, Tesla is currently valued at nearly 60 times the forecast earnings for the year 2024. With most traditional automaker stocks trading within a range of six to eight times their expected earnings per share, there is definite reason to believe Tesla's stock price will head lower from current levels. The fourth artificial intelligence company whose stock could get absolutely crushed if the most bearish Wall Street analysts forecast proves accurate is the enterprise analytics software firm with the ticker symbol MSTR. Last August, analyst Brent Thill from the investment bank Jefferies defended his firm's low ball price target of $210 for MicroStrategy shares, which would imply an 85% decline from where the stock closed this past week. One issue plaguing MicroStrategy is that its AI-driven enterprise analytics software division halted growth 10 years ago. In fact, sales for this business line have contracted by an aggregate of 14% since its peak. But let's face the facts. MicroStrategy is best known for CEO Michael Saylor's bold strategy of issuing convertible debt and deploying the proceeds to purchase Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency, by overall market capitalization. On March 19th of this year, Saylor posted on the social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, revealing that his company held 214,246 Bitcoin tokens, over 1% of the cryptocurrency's planned eventual supply, acquired at an average cost basis of roughly roughly $35,160 per token. With each Bitcoin currently valued at $67,600 as of the time of this video, MicroStrategy's cryptocurrency holdings are worth a staggering $14.5 billion. However, the company's overall market capitalization currently stands at $24.4 billion. After accounting for MicroStrategy's modestly profitable but non-growing software business, as well as its growing debt load, the company is trading at approximately a 70% premium to the dollar value of the Bitcoin tokens it owns. If investors simply want exposure to Bitcoin, purchasing shares of a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund, or directly buying the cryptocurrency on an exchange would be a considerably smarter capital allocation decision than buying into MicroStrategy at its currently lofty premium valuation relative to the prevailing Bitcoin price. The fifth artificial intelligence stock that one Wall Street analyst believes could plunge is the data mining company with the ticker symbol PLTR. Analyst Rishi Jaluria from the investment bank RBC Capital has expressed skepticism that Palantir's commercial segment profit margins can continue expanding at their recent rapid pace. This viewpoint compelled Jaluria to recently reiterate his firm's $5 price target for Palantir's shares, implying a 78% downside from current levels. There is no question that Palantir's stock looks richly valued at the moment. The company's nearly $51 billion market capitalization is closing in on a lofty multiple of 19 times this year's forecasted sales revenue. The stock is also valued at a steep 70 times consensus analyst earnings estimates for 2024, despite slowing sales growth rates. 
Pirates. But one key factor working in Palantir's favor that justifies commanding a premium valuation is its unique competitive positioning and lack of direct competitors able to replicate its suite of solutions. No other company operating at scale comes anywhere close to the capabilities that Palantir's offerings can provide. Palantir's AI-driven Gotham platform assists government clients in aggregating and analyzing data to support military operations and strategic planning. The contracts Palantir secures from the United States government frequently span multiple years in duration and generate highly predictable recurring cash flows. Meanwhile, the company's foundry platform aimed at commercial enterprises is just beginning to ramp up its growth trajectory, helping businesses make sense of their data to streamline operations. While a theoretical ceiling exists for Gotham's maximum addressable market, since Palantir will not offer access to the platform for certain nations. However, according to the article, Foundry has a theoretical growth runway that stretches decades into the future. Though it could take some time for Palantir to grow into its current valuation, I don't anticipate Jaluria's low water price target being hit. Even though Wall Street analysts are bearish on these stocks, I am buying them right now, and I suggest that you look into them to determine if they are right for your portfolio. With that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.